Take oh, you want to oh. How are you? Great place to come. Very good. Born Ireland. <laughs> It's 121 steps to the top of the tower. Okay. This is one of only two Gaelic towers left on the whole island that you can climb to the top of. And then, as I said earlier, being built in 1111, this is the oldest building in the whole city. Wow. That was worth it. St. Canises. Yeah, uh, St. Canises. Canises? Yeah, that's Canises. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a fair walk up the tower. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> you did it once and that's it. That's the way <laughs> it's I... a nice view from the yeah, top, though. Yeah. I swore never again. <laughs> it... Good morning, everyone. It's the 28th of January and it's about 9.30 in the morning. And here I am in the beautiful city of Kilkenny. So today I'm going to walk around, show you what Kilkenny has to offer. So if you come to Ireland, this is where you can see. I'm just along the river and it feeds up into Kilkenny Castle. So I'm going to start my vlog by going up to the castle and I'll walk around the grounds. There's a little doggy. Hey you. How are you? Okay, let's walk up towards the castle now. Here's a nice little corner shop. There's a cafe, blah blah blah. And I stopped for this. Kilkenny's known for harrowing. And there you have a big statue right along the river. This opposite the River Court Hotel. Here I am. So here's the uh, statue. Is there a plaque on it? Uh, I bury after 2016. So dedicated to the all who hurl for Kilkenny. This is on a just right by the water again, like I said. There's some pigeons. There's the back part of the castle here. And the gatehouse. I wonder if we can walk that way. In the back part, or do we go up? Let's just stop back and go over here. Here's a little place, Kitty's Cabin. It's right at the corner where we had the statue. All the confectionaries and sweets. All the newspapers. Nice little cabin, has a bit of everything. The gift horse. Oh yeah. Here's an antique shop. Maybe we'll go in there later. Great wine, wine and tapas bar. Kenny Crafts. So it's a very historic town. For Kenny, it's a, a medieval town as well. Very popular among tourists that come here from all over the world. It's located, it's about an hour and something drive from Wexford. I'll put that up here and show you how to get here. But you can also get here from all over, straighter routes from Dublin and that. Here's a nice little intersection here. Crossroads were all about one, two, three, four different roads meet up. And we'll walk up towards the castle. I don't won't be going in to do the tour and that because it's an OPW uh, project, so they they don't really allow you to f video when you're inside. But if you come here, you can uh, take the tour. I'll put it in the description on the the links for it and the costs for the tour. These are neat little chest, chest um, tables that are built in with the marble or the concrete. So you can come here and you can play checkers and chest. Already made up for you. Public washrooms, very handy. Here's where the Kenny Castle Park. Open 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. from January and December. 
February's the 5.30. And in the summer it's open until 8.30 to 8.30. This part's open. Hi. No, I'm just. There's a little garden place here. It says keep off the grass. But the walkways are accessible. So I guess I can't go up to that statue then. Unless I'll be breaking the rules. Here's the back part of the castle. And here's the garden. I guess when these are all in bloom, it'd look lovely. And then the fountain in the middle. There's a couple of benches there. And one along the side. Here's a man, he lost an arm. We'll walk around this part. And then here's the river too. We'll walk up to the river part. And that's where we were before, over there. Here's the back part of the castle. There's people running up there. Saturday morning exercise. Fair play to them. It's a lovely place to go for a run anyways. So I guess it goes around the garden, it continues on. And then it comes around here. And there's some picnic benches. Here's a place where you can get a coffee. And a scone. Here's the side of the castle. Here's the back part of the castle here. Excavation of Kilkenny Castle. So they're excavating right now. It's more where the towers used to be. Gatehouse. And then it goes around. Quite nice actually. I'll put the uh, look up how old it is. I think I'll put it up in the uh, in the description right here. There you go, there's for the tours, self-guided tours. So you're you're looking at eight euros for an adult, four for a child or student, six for seniors, and a family is 20 and children under 12 are free. And there's the rest of it. So. And right across, you have Kilkenny Design, so it's like the shops and stuff. There's the rest of the castle, so I guess you can go inside and see all the rooms in that for 8 euros, which is very reasonable. I'm not going to do it because I won't let you take videos and that, so I'll leave that for yourselves if you come there. And Kenny Cafe, see what this looks like. This looks like a really interesting building. There's a restaurant upstairs, so it's like shops and that. Well, this is very interesting. Very nice, and it keeps on going. Let's take a look at what's on this side. Hidden treasures. Retail therapy. That's what I'm always doing right now. She, of course, dropped me off here. We drove here. Like I said, it takes a little over an hour. And 
and there's some more shops. Yeah, so that's interesting. So this is located opposite the, uh, the castle itself. And here we are back at the, uh, the intersection where we were walked up to go to the castle here. Now we're going to walk along one of the main streets, I would say, and see what they have. Let's see, so we have up here, but I want to go down that way. Let's see where we can cross. Is there a crossing anywhere? I guess here we can. Although it sort of says it's out of order. There's the field. There's a pub with a big Kilkenny jersey. Right beside the AIB bank. Title. Asian food upstairs. Underneath the bookcase. Uh, the bookcase is underneath it, rather. The Harp Bar. White's Pharmacy. The ground floor. Right above Hellwolf Tattoo. Frank Wall, Man Shop. Alex. So that's for uh, decoration for the home. Manning Travel. People looking to get away. In the Kilkenny Book Center. It's a nice old building. Murphy's. An old establishment. Paris, Texas Smoke Bar. Smokehouse. Tess's home style baking and deli. And then there's another little way up here. Um, Why would I be doing that one? Is there anything up there? We walk this way. We keep going this way. This is the main street. Shoe stores, more clothes, pharmacies. Ireland is in love with pharmacies. Every city, everywhere I go, there's tons of them. And subway. Every town has a subway. There's Murphy's Jewelers beside Murphy's. Wonder if it's the same shop. It looks different though. Thanks. Cafe Nero. Great coffees in Cafe Nero. They have them up in Belfast all over the place and I just love them. In fact, I think it's time for a coffee. Let's wait till these cars go by and then we'll cross over and we'll go get a coffee. Inside and get me a cafe latte. So, soy latte and croissant for six thirty. Six euros and ninety cents. Okay, so the coffee is done. That was very, very, very good. Very tasty. Just what I needed to get started as we walk along and explore Kilkenny. Here's a nice little building. Cross over the street so we get to see a better view of it. Duggan's shop. So that's a big bell tower there. Little building. The Supermax. Guard Lane. Let's walk down here and see what's down here. If anything, besides rubbish. That's just the back of buildings. And that, so it doesn't really. There's people in the shops, from the shops there, having a cigarette break in the back. Don't like this rubbish there. I wish they'd clean up. Especially when there are bins right there, right here. Like, 
body piercing, holster bank. Like I said, they're on the way out. There's some shops on the other side. There's a tourist board. Credit Union. That's a nice one. I like the way the, the old building, the design of it. Collier's Lane. There's another lane. So I guess we're all, right, all backwards. Okay, no, but I that goes. Lane. Another Macaulay's, Sam Macaulay's, there's a bunch in Wexford. A Euro value store. And then the Chapel Lane. So there's all these little lanes that come off in the back ways to go. Carol's Irish gifts. They're all over the place. Kenny People, some newspaper. Pandora's. There's the post office. Pandora, Jewelers. And then the Market Cross Shopping Center. So there's a shopping center in there. Let's walk on the street first and see if we'll go inside there. Late Heat Power. Waterphone. There's Boots. Argos. Argos are leaving the Arwen. They're shutting down all their offices. Permanent TSB. Marble City Bar. Nostalgia Cafe. That's a nice looking cafe. Little, little push bikes on the balconies. NCBI Charity Shop. Sports Direct. Home server. Camo. The bubble tea. It's an air chemist. Blushes. Gourmet Cafe. Lots of little cafes everywhere. Vaping Emporia. Another vape shop. And then this one goes up to a church. We'll go up here and then come back down and keep going. Barbers. Bubble tea. Starting to get uh, popular and uh, there's a shop in uh, Wexford town that does bubble tea that seems to be very popular. I know in Asia they're very, very popular, so they're starting to take shape in Ireland. Here's your man working out. Mobile shop. And, oh, it's like an Indian shop. all sorts of spices and Asian food so it's similar to the one we have in in Wexford town every town seems to have one here's a bookstore opposite another travel here's a, a post office again and the other entrance to the uh, market cross uh, shopping center so we're going to walk up to the cathedral there, or church. And then here's a car park entrance. Lots of cars coming. Yeah, we'll go up to this chapel, the church, walk around it, get back down to where we were on the main street. So, Catholic Quarter. The religious wars in Europe that followed the 16th century reformation had a profound impact on the society and power in Kilkenny. The Catholic faith, the majority of Kilkenny's native population was outlawed under the penal laws. However, city authorities tolerated its practice. So 
as long as it was outside the city walls. Catholics were also forbidden to own land, receive education, or vote. Irish culture, music, education were banned. The penal laws, Catholic Emancipation, 1829. So it's not too, too long ago. So now, let's see what this is here. There's the man's skull. So, man's skull is like a high school. Mother of Faith Love School. Interesting title. And here's the uh, two papal flags for the Pope and then the tricolor. Let's take a look at this church. So here we are in the grounds. Nice office, eh? St. Mary's Cathedral. There's your man, St. Patrick himself. C. Smythe, Dublin. Fourteen December, 1909. It was a lovely building, and then it's connected on the back ways, and then you have the side going up. Very nice. I love these old buildings. I wonder if we can have a peek inside there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now Wexford Town doesn't have a cathedral. It has the twin churches. So basically the town was divided in two. Um, they're, they're actually replicas of each other, just about a kilometer apart, if that. And it was designed because uh, the town always was divided in two. Basically, the southern part were Viking um, settlers, and then the northern side were Celts. But they always lived and worked together in that, but when it came to building a cathedral, they decided on opting for the two churches instead. Okay, back on the main street. So here's a barber shop, Oxfam. So basically it's a charity shop. Up across from, see there's two vape shops. And then come across here and this street goes down a little bit. And then it goes across there. There's the Smithix experience. So we'll walk up and see what that's all about and how much it costs and uh, you know. So if you come here and you wanna enjoy the Smithix experience. So this is another little side street that works up from towards the castle. There's a little, little pub or coffee place. Yeah, coffee. Samaritans, little charity shop. The yard, another coffee shop. I've stopped there a few times and that coffee is not bad. And that goes, see our car, we're parked in that car park behind there. So it's behind the Dunn stores and all that. Phase two, waffles. <laughs> Kedwar's in. There's an old pub. Marble City Bar. 
fresh cola. Fresh scone with jam and cream, tea or coffee for $5.95. And Abel Ireland, another charity shop. Lad Brooks, roller coaster record store. So if you want the old vinyls, they're back in the, the pantry. So, country kitchen. And here's the Dunn stores, the front part. There's a little boutique. News plus extra. Might buy a lotto for tonight. You never know. It's because I'm in a different city. Maybe chance of arm. The lotto here, it's in the National Lotto. It's held uh, twice a week. Uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And for a quick pick ticket, it costs you six euros. Here's an optometrist, Sally West, Rita's gift shop. So we'll just keep walking down here until the end, and then we'll get back up to the main street again. So here's another little road you could, an alley you can take to get up to the main street. Hmm. And that seems to be getting quiet down there, so we'll stop there. Okay, back up to the main street again, where we turn down the Black Cat Cafe. Top floor, never ease. Downstairs. Oop, ATM. I think I might get some money out here. Money secured. Now we'll continue on the path. So, the Medieval Mile that way. Medieval Mile Museum, the Kenny Castle, and then we're going this way. So, there's a nice mural at the end there. Cross over here, there's the courthouse, the Kilkenny Courthouse, big modern building. Let's cross over, there's no. Irish Cancer Society. That's a big uh, shop, charity shop there. Across the market cross. That's where we went up. That's where you go to go to the car park for that shop, etc. That was across from the cathedral. Here's an old building. So this would be the old back of the old courthouse, I'd imagine. Yeah, Kenny Courthouse. And you have a big mural here, the Smithix Experience Kilkenny. Kilkenny, the best of Ireland. Well, that's the bit we have to see because there's a lot to happen in Wexford too, so and all across Ireland. So I think everywhere has a little bit of, you know, intriguing. And here's the Smithix shop, I guess. If you're into the Smithix, you can get all paraphernalia, marketing stuff, T-shirts. Hats. Guided tour. Let's see what this is. We'll walk down here anyways. I'm not going to probably take the tour, but show you what it looks like if you were. Heading down to it. This is a nice little path. Like the red door. You'd imagine in the old days the, the horse coming out with the barrels on the back. Barrels of Smithic Vale. This is nice, eh? The backdrop, the way it was all done. Not too keen on the old brand new building beside it, but, you know. Happy quarter, so this gate must be kept shut. It's in there. Bit of nothing. Let's go back up. There's a nice old building right in front. This was opposite the uh, the entrance to the Smithix experience. It's a nice old building. You can see the coat of arms above the archway. Here's some big old period buildings.
We'll keep walking down here. Let's cross over here. Here's an old pub. Here's a nice mural on the side of the wall. Goes into a B and B. This is Abbey Street. This is on the corner of the pump house. So it's a pub. And then the Chinese Ming uh, Court. John Query. So another pub. Box office. That must be a theater. Yep. Watergate Theater. And then here's my place. Feelings. See, maybe it's a thumbnail. And then what are we coming to the end here? I want to see. We go back. See what's happening here. There is an old church there, ruins. We'll cross over and see what that is. And there's another church up here. So first we're gonna cross over here. Okay, so the back of that new building where we went down that little slipway to the Smithix experience. And that big modern building, it's the end of it, so it's the brew house. So that's the modern facility that they're using. I don't know if we can get to that church, but I'll get as close as I can. It's, it's in ruins a bit. Yeah, see here's the big old brewery. And then, there's a, old church there but it's all fenced up so now we'll go back to the head up towards the other chair um the other church cake face how, are you going? Oh, how are you great place to come very good on ireland <laughs> oriental walk mini max can detail zip yard Jeez, that's a big place to do alterations for your clothes. There's a church over there and a church here. And this, so we'll cross over here. The Cattle and Fiddle Gastro Pump. There's a spar and off license. And then you have Patty Powers on the left. And then a couple little shops, Joe's Takeaway. There we go. Here's a medieval sculpture. Uh, and this tells you all the things that you could do when you're around in Kilkenny. Now we'll walk up here towards the church and there's another one so see where this goes St. Kinesis Steps very old eh? they're all worn but then, then you have the modern stuff so I think they had to Repurpose. Here's a cathedral entrance. So, you look down there, and Church Lane. 
Then you have your Here's the back part of the cathedral. Little graves. Morning. Minimum height. Yeah. So I guess you can actually go up there. Climb all the way to the top. Oh yeah. Only two left you can climb. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Also been built in 1111. This is the oldest building in the whole city. 1111. 1111. You have to get tickets. Uh, yeah, just inside in the cathedral. Inside, eh? Five fifty for a ticket. Yep, yeah, exactly for the, okay. just the tower. Oh, thank you very much. No problem at all. I think we might have to do that. Nice old building, but we will get those tickets. Good morning. Good morning. We are open. So, 550. Combination tickets, Cathedral and Rat Tower. Morning. A little tight. <laughs> wow. Could I take a video while I walk around? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so it's uh, 10 euros for the combination. for the Yes. And where do you go? Just like in here and then the tower, right? Yes. Now, okay. I would do the tower first. Yep. Okay. So, uh, eight euros. Okay, very good. Combination, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm doing a little bit of DIY. Or I'll use a card. <laughs> Card's easier. So Whichever. Yeah, yeah it's just because I only have 50, so. Okay. The ATM machines, that's all to give out now. Yeah, well, that's it. It's ridiculous. Uh, what did I say? Eight. Uh, there you go. Okay. Very good. James is out there. Yep. And um, he, he'll take care of you. And, and then when you come back, I'll give you the notes and everything. Okay. okay. So do the tower first. Yes. So, eight euros for the combination. So that's not bad. This is Cathedral. Oh, righty. Hello again. So, just go up there? Or? Yep, there's only one other person up there. Yep. So, it's 121 steps to the top of the tower. Okay. This is one of only two Gaelic towers left on the whole island that you can climb to the top of. And then, as I said earlier, being built in 1111, this is the oldest building in the whole city. Wow. Very good. You don't know how old the castle is, eh? Depends. The foundations go back to the 13th century. The front section facing the rose garden, some of that is 14th and 15th century. The long gallery is more Victorian with elements of the older castle, but the gate is, it's known as a Queen Anne gate, so that's from 1713. Okay, so very good. It's, it's a mix of centuries. Very good. I'll just leave my bag there because yep, otherwise it'd be I'll, I'll too be awkward. Here. Thanks. No So, it's a tight fit.
And it gives you where everything is as you're looking out. There's the car park back at Dunn's. There's that mural you see at the end of this road. There's the other cathedral. So you get to see the whole city and townships. Like I said, tight fit. Those, those steps are like straight up. You're going straight up. But well, there's the other church down there. We'll take a look at that next. After we look at the cathedral. And then head back in towards the town. So I'm gonna head my, make my way back down. I'm gonna turn off the camera for this. This is the angle of the steps you have to take to go down. So I'm at the top rung after being on the roof and now I have to head all the way down. Okay, so now we're exiting the tower. So that was that was a fair walk up. <laughs> I kept picturing uh, the film. Ever see the film In Bruges? I with Colin Farrell think and I Brendan Gleeson? Yes, yes. What are, they're at a they're had an event. Like they have a tower like to go up yeah, yeah. and these two big Americans were going he said hi you can't go up there <laughs> <laughs> been to the top of the tower well you lot ain't going up there it's all windy stairs I'm not being funny that was very very nice view even though he had a misty morning it still wasn't no it was nice bad. it's high up there oh yeah it is misty yeah you could see the yeah so it's really 100 good. feet tall but you're also on the second highest hill in the city so that helps yeah it's uh it's tight it is walking tight. up, it like is I said. Tight. You wouldn't want to be much bigger than myself. If you're... It, particularly when you get to the three stone steps yeah. to get on top. Yeah, a lot of people, I think, just stay in the under section. They don't no, no, I, to the top. if you go up that way, you have to go to the top. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. It's worth the extra effort there. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So here's the hours in the Tower Cathedral combination. I guess I got the senior rate. No, it was, well, after walking up there, you're pretty warm. It's a fair walk. Plan of the cathedral. Okay. Background history. You have 18 points of interest. One starts here, two at the pipes there. Okay. Back, three, and you go clockwise. Okay. Okay. Very good. Oh, and I get and to And you this. enter just yep. here. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'll give you a visitor guide. Tells you the green man, legendary pagan deity who roams the woods. So, so that's up there. Yeah. The little stone. Two by the pipes. 
1875, George August Premier saw. Well. Oh, look at these. Look at the graves that are stone graves in there. I like the uh, stained glass. I'm a big fan of stained glass. in our tomb. The tomb of James Shortle and Catherine White, 1507. Ooh, that's a long time ago. And there you have the stained glass again. And here's the St. Canisius Cathedral. It looks like, and there's the tower. So it's all the way on the top of that. So definitely, if you come, make sure to make a trip. And here's the layout of the city. And there's where we are here. Right there. And there's Kilkenny Castle there. There's Kilkenny Castle right there. That's an art church or something. And there's one up here too. And the floors. Some more tombs. Stained glass. Wow. Very old. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't even really notice that this was here. So I'm glad I stumbled across this. And if you ever come to Kilkenny, make sure you make this part of your trip. Very, look at these old pieces of stone. Looks like a grave marker. Looks like a bench. It's probably the oldest tomb in the cathedral. 1251 to 12 to 1260. Bishop Hugh de Mapillon and Bishop Geoffrey Saint Leger. Another stained glass I missed. Look at that. And the roof. Wow, look at the uh, look at the work, the woodwork in this. It's sitting there. Wow. Very nice. Very ornate. Look at the uh, the angel here. And then, wow. Then you have the stained glass again, and then here's the altar, the main one. So that's Bishop uh, Richard. Dead Reed held the office for 42 years. And then the lovely stained glass. And then the wood, the ceiling is all wood. Here's another, 
nice ornate bench. And then, like we've seen on that side, here's another one right here. Wow. And then look at this uh, gilded bird. It's the Eagle Act Lectern. It's made of brass and it's used to hold the Bible. And here's confessionals. It's uh, Ireland's Memorial Records. There are a set of eight books listing 49,000 Irish soldiers who lost their life in the First World War. <clears throat> and then here's another tomb. There's a lot of tombs in here, right? Like a lot of people are buried inside this cathedral. James Butler, ninth Earl of oh, sorry, he died in 1546. Wow. He must have had a lot of money to be buried inside a cathedral. I can't imagine it being cheap. Belfry. That's for ringing the bells. You can hear it. Oh. Some more. More tombs. And then stained glass windows, they're really nice. I like the stained glass windows. That's another tool. Fifteen seventy one. And here's travelers guys, so these is where people visit from Madrid, a lot of people from Spain. Sign in again. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jeez, there's a lot of tombs. Yes, you we must, are. You must have had some money to be buried inside a cathedral. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And a title. Yeah. I've connected to someone with a title. Yeah. And then they have souvenirs here, so. Yeah, there's so many tombs, like. I've never seen so many people buried inside a cathedral that much. Usually there's one or two and. Thank you very much again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, there we have it. Very worth your while. If you come to Kikenny, make sure that you make this one of your stops along the way. Especially, make sure you take a trip up that tower. Like I said, it's, you're really high up there. You, what's, there's only two in Arwen, they said, that there's still existence. That's the first time I heard about it. Um, now I'm gonna make my way back towards the city and maybe you'll see that other church and then head back into town and change the battery now. So that's the back view of the church. We're heading down this way. We turn to the right. I think there's another church there and then back into the town we go. See if we see anything. Looking for maybe a pin or a badge go with my collection. There's an Asian spice store. The Kinesis Parish office, I guess. Kinesis Parish. 
I wonder if it's connection with the cathedral because obviously the cathedral is more of a um, tourist attraction now. And there's the mass schedule. Take a look at this a little bit. I'll take my hat off. This is a modern, a lot more modern. Now we'll head back towards the, the town center. Here's some more. Both house Cook Kenny. Let's walk in here. Hell's garden, what is this? Coming up the intersection again. Just noticed that big gray building at the corner, you know, opposite when we came down from Kilkenny uh, Castle, the left bank. It's a nice old historic type building. And cross over here. I think there's a little antique shop I want to have a look at. Just see what they have around here. I like antiques. Kenny Crystal, there's gifts, souvenirs. Set that in here. Souvenir. That's a place to go into. We'll go in there and see what they have. Here's a nice little shop. Here's the window front. Postcards. One of the old fashioned postcards. Hello. Hello. Oh. Man. It's starting to rain out there a little bit. Is it? Yeah, I, I was a very, very fine rain. I'm shooting a vlog, is that okay? A video? Your what? I'm shooting a video. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Showing off different places in Kilkenny. So where Kenny. are you from? Long story, originally Montreal, but oh. the last, uh, since 2008, I live in Wexford. Wexford, right, yeah. that is a, yes, yeah, a bit of a story. <laughs> yeah, what part of Wexford? Wexford Town. Okay. Yeah. Fine, I was in there last September. Some beautiful old ruins down there. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, very similar to to Kilkenny and stuff, but they don't have the. They have the history, but because they're not standing. Yeah. You know, they're just ruins. Yeah. They lose a lot. Yeah. We if, ha if we have, have the uh, Salsker Abbey. Did you see that? That's in the city at the I time. Was in, I saw. I took. Yeah. Up, yeah. I was down two or three of them. Three of them. It must be at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, I don't know the history. I know the history of this town, but yeah, I was just up in uh, Saint Canisius. Yeah, uh, Saint Canisius. Canisius. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a fair walk up the tower. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> you did it once, and that's it. That's the way. <laughs> it's I, a nice view from the yeah, top, though. Yeah. I swore never again. <laughs> it it is tight. It is yeah. tight. You, you. No, I I was there, and uh, did you go? Did you go over to the Black Abbey? The that's Black older. Abbey. Yeah. Well, sorry, the tower is was just built after 1100. Yeah. The church itself was built in 1240, 45, I think. Okay. 35. Whereas St. Canis, was, uh, the Black Abbey was built in 1225. Okay. Yeah, it's 10 years of a difference. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. There's lots of stuff here. But since you're here in this yep. part of the world, have you ever heard of a place called Knock Row? No. Have you got a car? Yeah, I'm here with my partner. She has a car. Okay. Knock Row. You want to Google it? Google it. 
knocked out it's another 45 minutes from here. Okay. It's only 5,000 years old. Is that all? Yes. Okay. If you're into that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah, not grow. Not grow. I'll put that in the description in the bottom there. We're so people so coming here, they can look it up. Yeah, we're so lucky. Nah. There would have been a gathering out there at the, at the solstice. Okay. On the 21st of December. Now, now, now. Do, do, do. T-shirts. Your first time to kill Kenny? No. Been here a few times. Okay. Just the first time vlogging it, like showing it around, so. Right. We usually go up to Nolan Park. Oh. Very good. Thank you very much. Good night. Come in again. We'll do. Okay. Keep going this way now. Interesting little place if you want to get souvenirs and that he has a bit of everything and it's more local than the Carol's company which is sort of you know more modern than that gift horse crossover antique shop that's a nice little box there eh? packed in here yeah you know how much room in there especially in my bag I'll be knocking everything over Jesus it's a lot of stuff in here it reminds me of Hamilton's in uh, Wexford Town. Crammed. The old ash tree. Claustrophobic in there. They said four people in there are packed. Now we're back over here. And across over the little bridge here. And there's a malt. See the uh, few little places there. We're back at the start. Remember with the uh, statue of the hurlers? And we'll cross over the bridge. Now it's misting a little bit more now. Hope the rain doesn't come. There's the uh, swans in the uh, river in the backdrop of the Kilkenny Castle. And there's some more little shops here. It's 11.32. 
there's a couple of nice little on this side of the water so that side is uh, where we have the car park there were the back of duns and the main streets there and then here you have the water here there's a few little pubs you see the home rule club and matt miller's bar and restaurant and then the riverview court hotel we'll walk towards this way a bit it's almost 12 everything's getting a little bit busier it is saturday the end of january so people on uh, monthly pays have all got their pockets full here's a nice little entrance to a hotel you get in the car park okay molly's cafe is not open for business the dylan whiskey bar there's a nice sign there Winnie Todd's Barbers. Don't know if that would be a good name for a barber. <laughs> if any of you have ever seen Sweeney Todd, the film with Johnny Depp, here's a little Hurley Depot with all the little Hurling paraphernalia. Wonder if they have any uh, Wexford kit. <laughs> I doubt it. Just a little fact Wexford and Kilkenny are big rivals. Like, but whenever we were even poor in that in hurling, we always managed to play Kilkenny well. Here's a nice little O'Reilly's wallpaper paints and wedding gifts. Some foam repair. So the street goes up. There's a, there's quite a few stuff, few stuff on this side. The wine center. Brewing company. Wow. Maybe on the way back down we'll walk and see what that is. Goldsmith. Langton's tea room and hotel. Someone driving like a little bit of a crazy person. Here's Langton's. It's really very snazzy. There's another church. Judging by the uh, spire and that, that looks like a Church of Ireland, I would say. Church of Ireland, yeah. Here's another antique shop. Stop shop. Brett's Hardware. Side Street. Tower and Castle. So, cakes and teas, coffees. There's a pub across the road. There's like Patty Powers and O'Flail and Spar and Lounge. O'Flail, of course, is the Irish version of Phelan. There's a smart men store. Get and go. Kilford Arms. That's Apache. Young lads exercising. And there's another chemist. There's definitely a lot of stuff happening. See, my glasses are all fogged. I'll take a minute and clean them. Okay, so just 
had a pit stop, cleaned off my glasses and the phone, the, the, the GoPro, because the uh, rain is a little bit mistier now. Just wanted to get up to the top of here and then probably head back in and call it a day on the vlog. Remember to uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button if you want to, to be notified of the, uh, the videos and hit the like button helps with the algorithms and uh, I have many more vlogs coming up um, I'm heading up to Belfast on Patty's day uh, the little bit before I'm staying in the Gale Talk area near the Falls Road and I'm gonna be uh, vlogging St. Patrick's Day on the Falls Road so stay tuned for that that should be an interesting one and I have a few other ones planned so now here we are at the end of it select bar Brooks's Kenny house and then that's the end of the uh, the tour for today and here we are another day in Kilkenny town it's good news and thanks for watching Here's one of the little alleyways where you're walking back down to town there. It's you have whiskeys and spirits specialists. Tap room, Sullivan's Brewing Company. It's a it's a bar. And then this way to good times. I was gonna turn around but Interesting. A nice and closed in area. And the little booths and that. Wow. Pretty big place to accommodate many people. So this is just off across the road from uh, the Langton's Bar. Here's the home row club, social club. There's a nice old building, the library. Very nice building for a library. And then public library. Very old town, eh? You see the walls, the old building in the back. And then here's the steps to go up to the bridge. A foot pedestrian footpath walking across to go back into where it's the car park is in the back part of Dunn's to get up to the main street again. Hello, Mr. Cole. Italian connection and I'll show you the lunch menu we had and I have to say it was the best pizza I had in the last 15 20 years I highly recommend if you're ever into Kilkenny here's where it's located just off the main street and fabulous place.